Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn about the closer in JavaScript. So in the previous videos uh, we have explored a lot of concepts like promise, lexical scoping and other fundamentals as well. So if you haven't watched all those videos, uh, I will be adding the link into the description so you can uh, go through with uh, the whole bunch of videos in the playlist. So let's start with the closer in this video. So for example, I have a function here, function, then fun and I have its definition and inside of its, its definition I am again defining another function which is counter and here is its definition then I am going to write here the console log and I'm gonna write here a variable name called count so you know that this count is not available here I am gonna declare and initialize this count variable over here so you can see that I have declared and initialized the count variable outside of this functions definition but i am able to use that account variable inside of counter function so that is possible in javascript and now i'm gonna call this counter function from here so if you will if you are interested to see the output then we will be calling the fun function from outside so let's see the output here so you can see that we are getting the value zero. So let's make it a little more interesting. Like count is count. So let's see now. So you can see that count zero. So that means we are getting the value of the count variable which we have initialized and declared outside of this function so this is called as lexical scoping that means if you have a variable defined outside of the definition of the function but that is inside the external function this is external function and this is internal function so we can access the uh, variable of external function inside of internal function all right so this is lexical scope uh, scoping so now I am interested to move ahead with the closer. So what does uh, closer mean? That for example, we are going to return something from here. I mean, this function is going to be returned from here. And you know, when we are returning a function, then we only need to uh, write the name of that function. So if we are returning something, then of course we need to assign that variable uh, in uh, assign that function inside a variable so here we have my count and now if we will be calling my count then that means the fun function would be called the fun function would be called and then uh, whatever would be returned that is counter so you know that that counter is going to be assigned in my count and my count is actually the function because uh, the function is returning from inside a fun function that's why we are calling again my count so now if you will see on the output screen you will be getting count zero so that means again the same thing is happening over here the only difference here is like uh, the execution has been finished now and you know that we are calling counter which is this my count actually so we are uh, calling this counter function after the execution of this fun function all right and in that counter function we are able to access the count variable which was existing in the fun function so how is that possible actually the closer is the concept in which we are actually able to access the variable defined inside of a specific function outer function and that would never be destroyed uh, because we have the counter function which is defined inside of this function that's why we are no no more able to uh, uh, destroy the count variable all right so the count variable will, will will always be available inside the counter function because the counter function is defined inside the fun function so you can see that when we are returning from here then we are assigning that into my count and we are calling from my count from here all right so you can see that fun function already finished but then after we are going to call this and you can see that after the execution we are still able to access this counter variable and uh, the count variable is accessible uh, uh, also right so now the interesting thing here is like for example you are uh, thinking about the scope of the count that is it destroyed or not so let me increment this uh, the value of this one and i'm gonna call this once again so i have called three times so now if you will refresh this 
you will be getting three times i mean count equal to zero count one and count two so that means this count is never been destroyed this is alive and that's why this is going to be incremented with the uh, older value all right so you must think about that this count is never been destroyed because we are using that count inside the function which is existing in the outer function in which the count is already declared and initialized so this is called as uh, uh, this is called as closer so i think you got the basic fundamental of the closer that how this is going to be happening here and if you are thinking there is something uh, more difficult you can ask me the question i will definitely try my best to help you out so regarding the lexical scoping i have already created the video so you can uh, watch that video in uh, in the playlist i will be adding that link into the description so i have already completed html and css as well so at at least 50 videos i have covered up till now and in that i have covered html css and javascript so in the next videos i will be uh, starting with the react js then moving ahead with the node js and all so feel free to uh, ask the questions and if you haven't subscribed the channel just subscribe it and like the videos as well so and uh, definitely we will be uh, we will be meeting with the a new concept in the coming video so thank you so much for watching the video see you in the next video